Okay then, so we've just arrived at the Imperial Hotel in Exmouth, so let's go and see what this is like. We're in room 22. It's a spacious room. Lee's looking very intellectual over there. I'm reading the guest what's name for guest information. Ooh. And Ben's just chilling. Yep. So, where can we start? Look at the wardrobe. So, got the light hanging down, got a mirror. The ceiling is very tall. Got a door there. So let's have a look over here. What we got? That must be the heating and things. The, the, switch, the light switch is for the toilet. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, what are the these? Just going to have a play, guys. Different lights. I don't know if these work because I can't find a thing to switch them on. Oh, here we go. There we go. Do we have the socket in the back of there? No socket. You got a socket? No sockets again. No sockets. Nothing, nothing in the drawer. Big room, no plugs. Huh? Big room, no plugs. <laughs> nice picture on the wall. Uh. That's oh, <coughs> at, um, it's at a cathedral where we've just been. That cathedral was very nice. We've got a phone socket, but that's for an in, um, that's for a landline phone. Lights work in there. And no, no sockets. So, what we've got over here? We've got a kettle. Oh. And we have coffee, decaf. Biscoff. Oh, biscuits. Biscoff biscuits. We have. We have three cups. A hair dryer. A nice mirror. A wobbler sitting on the chair. One husband. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a shh. Please do not disturb. Please can we have our room service? You're not going to be happy. Psst. Did you know? Did you know what? My wife's not going to be happy. Why am a man not going to be happy, husband? Because the one thing you really, really wanted, they don't do. Please don't say they don't do room service. And they don't do room service. They don't do room service. Not at all. <laughs> they don't do room service. And I know that's what, that's what you've been moaning at all. I do like room you service in the hotel. Especially when I've been out all day. And especially when like it's been like going man these Christmas markets and doing Christmas lights and things. I do like a bit of like room service. I do. 
And you ain't got them. <laughs> gonna do. Well, you're gonna have to get off your big backside and get on your scooter, and we're gonna have to drive down to what's name, either but, the restaurant or order something enough of like something like Justin. When I first arrived, I couldn't even get in the hotel. The lift was broken, so you two could get in the hotel. Oh yeah, well it's not my fault. You're the one in the scooter, not me. No, you can't get up the steps. I'm quite capable of stomping up the steps. So... I was waiting in the bar for you. you just... I know, so what do we have to do? We have to just go around and use the old tent for vintage. And where did you have to take me? To the other side of the hotel to come in the fire exit. And up the lift. Yeah. Simples. That weren't nice, was it? Shall we see what kind of CB we've got? Anyway, what does this say? Did you know? Did we know what? You're a big wobbler. You can get 20% off or something. Anyway, then there's guest information. Well, I'll have a look through that. And What have you got in your hand? Nothing for you to see. I want to know what you've got in your nothing hand. For, nothing for you to see. But what have you got in your hand? Nothing for you to see. Go away. Oh, I want to know. pack. We're going to look in that, but I really want to know what you've got in your hand. You know what's in it. You brought it, you silly spag. Really want to know. What have you got in your hand? No, you really want to know. You'll have to wait till later. You're, you're supposed to be looking at the room, not making silly noises. Okay, okay. So let's look out here. What have we got? We've got C. Woohoo! We've no room, Zoe. Oh, bother, bother. <coughs> but we've got a nice sea view. Oh, it will be when it, like, it gets like nice and light. Hey, you know that boat that we went on like a couple of years ago when it was bonfire night one time? What? Stuart's. Oh, don't no, ask me. Stuart Line Cruises. That went up, that goes out there, don't it? I don't know. Mmm. I don't know. Oh yeah, so yeah, we've got a lovely yeah, view. Yeah, there's a ferry that does go over that. I don't know when it runs. That goes from Dorney to Exeter. It does. Ooh. Can I say Dorney? Bulk news as well. Down. It goes where, sorry? I say a ferry goes over that. Yeah. Once or twice a day. Right. Not a joke, it runs in the winter, but in the summer. Yeah. And it goes from Dorley to Warren. Right. To Exmouth. Okay. It's a ferry that you can go on. Yeah. To get to the other side. And I'll tell you another time to actually come here and enjoy this hotel would be when it's the Exmouth Air Show. Because you'll be able to see all the planes flying by. And you can see some of the rooms have actually got balconies where you can sit out and watch the air show. And push your wobbly wife off the balcony. Never you realise. Wouldn't that be good? So let's carry on with this room tour. Oh, now you're finally going to get on with the room tour, are you? Yeah, well, we've just been given <laughs> some <laughs> local <laughs> information. So we've got a television. We don't know what channels, but some channels on. Got nothing in the drawers. Is there anything in that drawer, Ben? Because I can't get down there. Bottom drawer. No. No. Let's go and see what's in your place then. So we've got Kelleton, Kelleton House. There's some lovely places around here to visit. Ben's got a plug socket. Oh, and he's got a nice light. And I notice as well, we've got two pillows each been told there is dinner but dinner is 24.95 each 
Now, they do actually do afternoon teas um, as well in this hotel. Afternoon tea is £12.95 each. Now, we do actually have that booked for tomorrow. So, I will, do a thing, um, I will do a video on that tomorrow and let you know how afternoon tea is. Go and do the bathroom. And this is a disabled one. So let's show you what's in here. We have grab rails, two, we have a lower ground town sink. We have grab rails to both sides. We have a grab rail going across. Then we have the toilet, so enough room to sort of like get in your mobility scooter or a wheelchair. You've then got a towel rack and a rack to go down, grab rail to go down and another grab rail. And then here you've got a step in shower. So the shower is quite big. Again in here you've got the red cord. Now it is actually tied up. Um, yeah. It is actually tied up a bit. So I can write thinking if it had been out and about then like in a normal shopping centre or something, it would actually need to be let down um, because of if it was a disabled person going in on their own, then obviously they would struggle if they were to have a fall to actually grab hold of it. Um, but in a normal bedroom um, with other people about, then you would actually be okay with it being like that. Um, in the bathroom, You've got your grab rails um, as you're getting in and then actually while you're standing in there and then while you're in there you've got all over body shampoo and yeah it's really really nice really large and really nice to actually see a large change in places like um, bathroom in the hotel like this it is really really good I'm really impressed with it well done well done Imperial Hotel at Exmouth really really good so yeah really impressed with it and really um, light as well so we'll let you know how we get on with our stay and thank you for enjoying the another video from Nuera Tourism and Events Official. And until next time, goodbye from me. Bye bye. See, see you later. Just sit there by the fire. Put the TV on if the football is on. Why? Look at that tree. Wow, how awesome is that? How awesome is that? Wow. Completely decorated for Christmas. Complete set of like different jewelry and things. And then the breakfast room is through there. I definitely do recommend it. Breakfast and yeah, breakfast was really nice. Especially recommend the tea and had boiled eggs, they were like really lush. So definitely do recommend it. 
So, um, yeah, yeah, we'll show you that in the morning. So, just going to show you the reception area. And there's another lovely Christmas tree just there. Wow. Me and my Christmas trees, hey, but I totally do love that. And as I say, this hotel is ideal, like, for if you want to go on a boat trip or, you know, go exploring. And um, they have, um, what was it, a, the air show down here as well, the English Riviera. So you can always get a, um, the Stuart Line um, boat trip, get on the, stay here, get on the boat trip, and then go and see the um, Riviera air show. So that would be absolutely brilliant. So that would be an absolute, um, what's the name? So definitely, like I say, definitely do recommend it. So I will drop a link to the hotel as well. And um, they have different meeting rooms as well. So, um, just move out of the way of these, uh, oh, this lady. Thank you, sorry. Temple Lounge and restaurant, which we've just been in. And, yeah. And like I said, they've got a lift as well to all different floors. And um, yeah, got quite a few bedrooms. And I do love that mirror. Okay, so this is a disabled toilet in the hotel, Imperial Hotel. Got a rail to the door. Then it's got a lower down sink. Plenty of room to bring in like your mobility scooter or wheelchair. It's got a record all the way down to the floor, which is really good. Well done, Imperial. Um, Grab rails to the toilet. With a lower down toilet. Um, yeah, and then it's got tilings all the way around. And then in here, they've got baby changing. Again, because it's a smaller place rather than an attraction um, or an event or something like that. Yeah, it would be hard to separate so it's like you disabled to have one room for disabled, one room for baby and changing facilities, toilet wise. So in this case, yeah, I'd say put both together. But yeah, <laughs> I'd let that go in the, this case. Um and it does look nice, you know. But when you have got the chance to separate both, separate both. Um so yeah, in this case, it does look nice. So yeah, a station for your baby changing facilities. So yeah, quite impressed with that. Good morning, guys. Okay then, so this completes the vlog for Ed Smith. So, just to get the review done for the Exmouth um, Hotel. So, yes, it was very nice. Really enjoyed it. It was really comfortable. So, um, the breakfast was really nice. Had a really good choice. I kept from my boiled eggs. So, I just want to get a review off Lee and Ben as well. So, who shall we start with this morning? Um, eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Let's start with Lee. Lee, here what we go. The reluctant husband. <laughs> always picks on me. <laughs> so we are at the in Exmouth. The in in Exmouth. <laughs> Is that what it's called? The in in Exmouth. Yes, we're at the hotel in Exmouth. Well, well what's hotel called? The Imperial Hotel. At the Imperial don't Hotel. Help. Oh, don't help her. That was my chance to make it look silly again. At the... <laughs> She'd forgotten the name of the hotel. That's Sorry, why... guys, I was having a mind block. That's why, she, that's why when she turned to me, she was, we're in the hotel uh, 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 Exmouth. I was having a mind block. <laughs> I do apologise. 
So, how did you find the Imperial Hotel? Please don't say that Ben brought you here. But he did. <laughs> Isn't he being silly this morning? Yeah, I got in the car, it whizzed off, and I ended up here. Not a bad place to end up, actually, is it? No. With a sea view and... Sea view, it's ever so nice. The rooms are nice. Yeah. Short walk Restaurant's to... nice. Short walk to the central. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Staff are nice and helpful. And so friendly. how did you sleep? And don't say you closed your eyes, you fell asleep. No, of course not. I laid on a bed. And then right. got into the quilt and... Put me out on the pillow and went to sleep. Okay, so how comfortable was your stay? Oh, very comfortable. The bed was nice. It was? Mmm. Okay, and your breakfast? Lovely. Very nice, was it? Yep. Okay, so would you stay here again? Oh, definitely. Oh, would definitely stay again. Ooh, yeah, yeah, very nice. And how did you find the stuff? Lovely. Yeah, all friendly. Yeah, very friendly. All very friendly. <laughs> Don't say it like that. You make it sound like very, very friendly. <laughs> the maid was ever so friendly. Really? It's not that kind of hotel, you know. It's a very posh hotel. They're the worst. This is a four-star hotel. The Three to four-star hotel. Yeah. And they're the ones that give extra service. Yes. To that, the management and the staff <coughs> are very nice. They were very, very helpful with customer service. We had afternoon tea yesterday, and that was bang on £12.95 per head. And what it included was amazing. So let's get Ben's review now. Hello, hello, how are you? Do you feel refreshed? I didn't get much sleep, but I never do, so. Why didn't you get much sleep? I just didn't. The bed were comfy, I've got overreacting mind at night. Oh, right, OK. Nothing to do with the um, Imperial Hotel, then? No, the Imperial was great. The only thing I would say about <coughs> room 22 is you can hear the door opening and shutting one right next to reception. Right, OK. So... You've always said that you wanted to stay at the Imperial. So, why have you always wanted to stay at this hotel? Not this Imperial. I want to stay at one in London, I will, one day. Okay, right, okay. But, Imperial, Imperial Hotel, it's quite an established name as well. So... It was definitely a great stay. Yes. Staff were very good. <coughs> Um, two minutes to Central. Excuse me while Lee's just whatever in the corner. I had a cough. Okay. A two minute um, walk to Exmouth Central. Right. Um, yeah, lovely stay. Okay. And can we just add here, when we went to the um, shops, there was good selection, wasn't there? Yeah. So, yeah, so... I was on one Mardi, um shopkeeper that shouldn't really be in business right he doesn't like um tourists he only has a selective customers that he likes everyone else he treats badly okay and didn't he just not like in the christmas market or something you were complaining about it okay. quite a few were coming out i sat outside on your scooter quite a few were coming out and saying what an awful shop really so i don't think you'd be in business please complaining to the um, council and but yeah. anyway let's keep um let's talk about the imperial so how was your breakfast the best breakfast i've had at a hotel probably in about four years excellent it to the customers yeah didn't just cook a load and there we go job done excellent so everything was hot and very nice to eat. good selection yeah. And how did you find the staff? Staff are friendly, the ones that I've spoke to. Excellent. And you had afternoon tea yesterday? Yeah, they couldn't have done more for me with my stomach problem. Talking your dietary, um, dietary, what yeah. you could eat and what you couldn't. Excellent. So, again, would you stay here again? Definitely. Definitely. So, um, right, I'll ask you a usual question. How many out of ten? 
for the whole experience. Eight out of ten. I'd say nine. For myself, definitely nine and a half out of ten. It's been like a really good hotel, um, disabled friendly, being able to take my scooter everywhere and that's what counts. Um, and yeah, being made to feel welcome. The only thing I will say, please get that disabled lift um, fixed. Um, obviously there was another way into the hotel, but when you first arrive and obviously you can see obviously there's a disabled lift the other way people are coming in from the other way expecting that lift to be working and then it says no go to reception you then go to that the, try and phone reception obviously you wait waiting for a while because the reception is doing something else and there's only one person on there but if there was other clear signs to go the other way around or you know that lift was working then it would be fine um but yeah but apart from that been really good stay and definitely would stay here again so thank you very much Exmouth. thank you very much imperial and now on to our next hotel which is the marwell in marwell near marwell zoo lots of marwells there <laughs> So, but we're going to um, Exmouth Christmas Market first. Okay, lots happening today. And it's goodbye for me. I think that does mean goodbye. Bye. <laughs> From the reluctant dad. <laughs> See ya.